Hello, Stevies. We are back in the garage again. Only for a little bit. Only for a little bit. We're going to do some riding in this video, which will be tomorrow. But it'll still be in this video. Because today we are going to install the new Legend suspension on the Road King. Dun, 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 We have stickers from Legends. Directions. I will be using those, believe it or not. And... <laughs> Here they are. The Revo A's. The gold anodized. Comes with some bits. Some bits that we're probably going to use. Two shocks. All right, let's get this started. First things first, we gotta take these saddlebags off. suspension has their own YouTube channel and they have a video on installing these shocks flat washers will not be used with the new shocks. Keep them with your old shocks. For when you buy your new bike and you put your legend suspension on your new bike. That sticker goes to the inside. Okay, so I asked you to come and help me and you brought a kid and two dogs. I did. The sag without me on it is supposed to be 13 inches. So we're going to measure the sag. I'm going to hop up and down on the bike once. And then the problem is going to measure it. Stevie problem. Oh. See, he did the same thing I did. That's a little bit above 12 inches. 12 and... Three eighths. Okay. Looks like twelve. Oh, it does. Hmm. So now we've got the shocks installed. We've got the sag set absolutely perfect. Both shocks are the same on the same setting now. That's what we were fighting before because I didn't check it. Thanks to the problem, actually he is the one that, he is the one that actually helped set them. We're gonna go and take them for a ride. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we're gonna take them for a ride tomorrow when it's warm. But you'll, it'll be just a couple of seconds for you guys. Now welcome back. We are on the bike now and we are obviously back in Nebraska. One thing different than when we left for our trip though, the grass wasn't green and the grass is starting to green up. That's pretty nice. But it is colder and stuff like 
I got my gauntlet gloves on and I got my heated liner on and um, it's like 48 degrees instead of riding in the 70s like we were just earlier this week. <sighs> but oh well. But I gotta tell you guys about this Legend suspension because it so far is crazy. It is crazy how much of a difference it makes. Just replacing the rear shocks with Legend shocks. It's made a huge difference. I am going to go up here onto an extremely rough road that um, people around here will know. It's called Church Road. And the first half is actually not as rough as the second half that we're going to go on to go in the direction that we're going. So I'm doing all my talking that I need to do before that now because usually I can't talk on that road when we're filming. Okay, here we are on Church Road. I think you can see by the broke up concrete over back there that, uh, yeah, this road is in pretty bad shape. The true test will be up here, it gets a lot rougher. One thing I will say right away though is that I still feel the waves a little bit, the shuddering. I don't feel that as much. But like I said, the road is going to get worse up here. Now I have these shocks, the rebound set on three, which there are more settings for that. Three to six, it gets stiffer. Obviously three to one, it gets softer. So this is a pretty good bump coming up here. And I didn't feel myself lift up and come back down like I usually do. That's the thing. There's no secondary bouncing you know what I mean if that makes sense it's you hit the bump and it's over with you don't just keep bouncing like it, like we used to it is a nice day it's cold don't get me wrong my heated liner is on and if I could talk Stevie Todd into it um, one of these days we'll bring his street glide up because he still has the premium suspension on that the Harley premium suspension and we will We'll ride both bikes across here and then we'll switch and come back and we'll see if he notices a difference at all when he rides this one. And right up here you're going to notice, hopefully maybe, the road is going to get quite a bit rougher. It's right here. But I am still able to talk. You can still feel, you can still hear. A little bit of the road in my voice yeah this road is just unholy rough but I think it's handling it well I can't complain this is this is better this is definitely better a lot of cars don't stop at that stop sign either it scares me but this is better I will I will say this is better I mean, it obviously handles the bumps better, but what I'm noticing the most, like I said earlier, is you hit the bump and it's over and done with. Obviously, this is bump after bump after bump. Each one of these cracks is pretty, you know, is where the bumps are. But I'm still able to talk, and usually I can't talk. Usually it's way worse than this. I mean, this is pretty much the roughest road around here that I can think of. The suspension is working instead of still reacting to the bump before it and I think that's making the huge difference at least on this road and honestly I mean what more can you ask for this is unreal it's like the bike the bike stays steady more instead of getting the old Cadillac sensation. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. 
I don't know how to paint the picture, I guess, but... Oh. There's no more hard hits. You know what I mean? Before, there were a lot of... Like, the suspension bottoming out. Like, hard, smacking hits. And that's what always hurt my back. That's that's gone now. It's It's more of a... The bump is still there. But... It's, it handles it so much better. I do want to take a moment in this dead space to let you guys know that May 30th, Memorial Day weekend, the Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, we are going to have the Great Plains Moto Meet Ride. If you guys are hearing about this for the first time, we're doing it on Memorial Weekend because we figure that way Saturday everybody can ride in and they will have Monday to ride home. The route is yet to be determined and meetup place is yet to be determined and all that but the date is set. So moto vloggers if you want to come we have quite a few coming uh, from Colorado, South Dakota, Iowa, Oklahoma, um, obviously Nebraska. We've got, uh, we've got a slew of people come. If you guys just want to come and ride with us, um, that will be cool also. This road is not the smoothest road on the planet either, so we'll also be putting it to the test here. As you can see with these holes here in the road that this road is not the best road either. Next weekend is supposed to be pretty nice though so Miss Stevie and I are going to get out and ride. It is Easter weekend I believe. Um, we are going to talk about the trip that we just had and uh, the things that we did after our planned trip because the second half of our trip was not planned at all. Kind of did that on purpose. But we'll be discussing that. We will be discussing other things. Um, I'm sure quite a bit of stuff will come up. Also, the world record poker run. That's at the end of July. They're leaving Tampa, Florida and going to Sturgis. And it will be the world record poker run. The longest poker run. It will be a world record. Um, if you are involved, you get you get to be part of the whole world record thing, and you will also get to meet Miss Stevie because Miss Stevie is going on that ride. I don't know how else to explain it. All the bumps are smoother. The roads are smoother. The bumps are smoother. It uh, there's no more bottoming out of the suspension and the hard, the jarring hits that I used to take that would hurt my back. I think this is going to be a major, major improvement from what we, from what I had before. Putting it on is a cinch. Setting it up takes a little bit, but once you're done, you're done. Um, you do have to set it up. Each time you load the bike up, you wanna, you'll want to, uh, like if you're gonna go on a long trip and you're gonna load the bike up, especially if you're gonna have two up, you're gonna wanna adjust the suspension and the sag and stuff, but other than that, guys, this suspension is a major win. Also, Fury Friday will be coming back. You guys stay tuned for that. Obviously not this week, but it'll be coming back soon. Parts are in. The bike can go back together. We did not get as much done as we wanted to. But there's always there's always next winter or there is also always rain days in the summertime, right? So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool and we will see you on the road.